Arthur, Charlie, and Sherry started in JTL. They established an independent national charitable organization to develop tennis in inner cities. A great motivation of why we started this NJTL program was, uh, was the education aspect. You know, and it was really more about through the sport of tennis, having a positive impact on these kids' lives. Charlie, Arthur, and Sherry really complemented each other. I mean, Sherry is an entrepreneur. Arthur, from a much different background, perceived a need for it. And Charlie is a total believer. Now, this was 1969. They came up to me jointly and said, you know, Sherry, you're always developing companies and products. Uh, why don't you do something for uh, tennis and kids and so forth? So we met at Sherry's house uh, in Stanford, Connecticut. And I remember we finished up about one o'clock in the morning in his kitchen, you know, with a yellow pad, writing things down, how we were going to do it, which was the beginning of the NJTL. The opportunity really is to develop novice programs that will bring youngsters into the game. Once we got it started, it didn't take very long for a lot of other people to come in and step up and say, we want to do the same thing. I said, this is for me. I want all kids to play and have fun and have opportunities. And I could see that Education was very much a part of Arthur's program. Put out a, an initial plan, which was to go uh, to the five boroughs of New York, and Sherry wanted to do one in Stanford, Connecticut, where he lived, and Arthur wanted to do one in Richmond, Virginia. So those first seven sites were the beginning of the NJTL. And I said, boy, this is just great. It's something that we really need in the city, because there were no programs for young people that offered uh, the opportunity to play tennis and get instruction on a continuing basis. I remember, I think the first year they funded it was $25,000. <laughs> so, so now it's grown to millions of dollars. It's fantastic that we have already uh, 250 chapters in the NJTL. The people that are working on those sites, dealing with the kids day in, day out, thousands of people, uh, they're really the ones that make this program work. They're pushing you about your studies, they're pushing you about everything to your max. They're making sure you have good grades. They teach you how to have respect. I was fortunate that my parents were tennis players. I mean, it opened a whole world for me. And I came from an island, a very small island in Puerto Rico, you know, to all of a sudden go all around the world, get a college education at UCLA. And uh, so many people that I've met that have had a great impact on my life. I got to be part of the Davis Cup. I'm very proud of that. We wanted to give a little bit of that luck to some kids who probably, you know, would never have had the opportunity had we had not done that. I'm so happy that I've been um, around for 17 years to be a part of what Arthur, Sheridan, and Charlie started. And I can tell you that my goals in life is whatever their goals where I'm trying to keep that going forward. I'm sure Arthur and, uh, and Sheridan are looking down upon us today and the impact it's had on so many kids I had a little bit to do with that you know so so I'm very extremely proud of that